Hey YouTubers, welcome back. During the compression week test, I received a lot of questions in regards to how to take the compression on a four cycle engine. Well, it's not as easy as just screwing in the compression tester on some of them. Some of these engines have a built-in decompressor on the camshaft. I'll show you one. Well, here's an actual camshaft from a Tecumseh engine. It's literally a camshaft out of one of these engines here that you'll find on a snowblower. This one's a 10 horse. On the 8 horsepower, it will be the same. The thing with these camshafts is that they have a little decompressor here at the end. Now, the reason for this is that it's easier to pull over. This thing's an automatic decompressor, so it will do it by itself. When you pull the engine over, it's going to nick one of the valves slightly open so that when you're pulling it over, it's easier to crank over. So what's going to happen when you put your compression tester in, you're going to get a reading, but you're not going to get a true reading. So for example, you're going to get a lower reading, which isn't necessarily bad, but it's not the true reading of the engine. Now what you could do is a leak down test on your engine to see how good it is. If there's a leak somewhere, you're going to find it out with the leak down tester. For example, you could have a leak in one of the valves or the rings could be worn out. Now I talked to a friend of mine who's been in the business for 30 years. He's got more experience than I do. What he said is you test the compression on an engine that's new or fairly new. Now even though you're not going to get a true reading, you can compare the results from a new engine to other engines are going to come across. So that will still give you a good idea if your engine's got good compression or not. What I'm going to do today in this video is I'm going to test the compression on that blower I just showed you because it's fairly new. I'm going to keep that reading on file and then I'm going to test the compression on an older machine that I have here in the shop and we can compare both results. Let's get our tester in there. Now the best reading I'm getting on this engine is almost 60 pounds and there's no way that this engine only has 60 pounds of compression. Now here's an older machine that I did a compression test on now and on this one here I'm getting only 50 pounds so it's a bit older the motor, it's got more wear and tear on it. So now I can compare that reading with that of the new machine we just tested. So unfortunately you can't get a true reading, it's unfortunate, but that's what we got to work with. Now what you can do is grab the recoil and pull really slowly. This way it doesn't give a chance for the decompressor to engage. So you pull it really slow and then you're going to feel the compression better this way. Now the more resistance you get on the compression stroke, that means the better your engine is. If you pull it over and you don't feel anything at all, that means it's losing compression somewhere, usually from the rings or the valves. And the compression on this engine feels pretty good this way, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. Now if you notice your engine's burning oil and it's got low compression, you may want to replace the rings or at least check them. Also if you notice that your muffler gets red hot, like literally red, you're especially going to see this when you snow blow at night. That means that it's losing compression through the exhaust valve and thus causing a lot of heat to go to the muffler. Sometimes if your carburetor is not adjusted right, like too rich sometimes, will cause that too, but I rarely see that. Usually it's because the valve is leaking. The way you would repair that is by removing the valve, grinding it, and then lapping it. So basically the only things that are going to cause you to lose compression are the rings and the valves. And if your cylinder is scratched, that can be a problem as well. The most common method I use to check the compression, especially on snowblowers with a Tecumseh engine, is like the previous method I just showed you by pulling it over slowly and feeling it. Sometimes I get blowers in my shop and I don't feel any compression whatsoever. Then when I take the engine apart, there's usually always a valve leaking, either the intake or the exhaust valve. Rarely have to replace rings. So that method works good for me. Also, if your engine's losing power, that can be a sign also that the compression's getting low. That's after you've checked the carburetor and everything else. So hopefully this video has answered a lot of questions. If you have any comments or suggestions, post them below the video in the comments area. You can also post how you check your own compression on your engine and how you diagnose that problem as well.
Now, if your four cycle engine doesn't have a valve decompressor, then you don't need to worry about all these issues. You can just put your tester in, pull it over, and see what the reading is. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.